Free Street Elementary. I'm your host, Sophia. Today's Monday, April 3rd, and we are on Special Area Schedule G. The lunch choices for today are cheese or pepperoni pizza and peanut butter and jelly bundle. Today is mostly cloudy. The temperature for today is 82 high and 66 low. The wind speed is 12 miles per hour. The rain chance is 24%. The sunset will be at 743 a.m. Now back to our host. Thank you. Please stand for the pledge. for a moment of silence. And now we have a special report from Amaya and Peyton. Thank, Thank you. you. I'm Sophia. And I'm Peyton. With, with a special, special report. report. Happy birthday yesterday to one of our news crew people, Amaya Boone. Congratulations to Ms. Booker's class on earning 100 command coins. Last Tuesday at the school board meeting, Grace Pinner and Nina Richardson, fifth grade students in White and Shipman's rooms, were recognized as the most recent School of Character District winners for the creation and expansion of the Helping Hands Club a group that was formed by these two girls to be a friend to students with disabilities. In addition, they have held a food drive for the Southeast Volusia Human Society and are working on a fundraiser to support St. Jude. These girls are putting forth so much good in this world, we couldn't be any prouder to celebrate their kindness and good deeds and accomplishments with them. For the month of April, classes will have media instead of SEL. Hello, everyone. My name is Captain Shivers, and I'm here with a special guest. I'm Lieutenant Smith, and this month's School of Character topic is self-control. Self-control means being able to control your actions and emotion, even during the times when you feel like doing something else. Throughout history, self-control has played a huge role in the lives of many world leaders. Napoleon is quoted as saying, in part, the greatest victory is the victory over ourselves. Before you can control your environment, you must first control yourself. Self-control is important because it helps you make good decisions. It helps you think before you act and avoid making reckless choices that you might regret later. This can be anything from practicing sports instead of playing video games to putting off doing your homework until the last minute. Self-control is not just something that relates to bad behavior. However, it can be hard to have self-control, especially when you're feeling angry, frustrated, or upset. But with practice, you can develop your self-control skills and become better at making it good choices during the toughest moments. So if you're feeling angry or upset or having trouble working on your assignments, take a deep breath and try to calm down before you say or do anything. This will give you a moment to calm down and make the best decision. Remember, having self-control is an important part of being a responsible and respectful person. So keep practicing self-control and always try to make the best choices you can. As always, attitude is contagious. So let's all be kind to one another. Thank you. What do you want to be when you grow up? Oh, I go architect. You 
Remember, Bobcats, when we all use self-control, we all make Spruce Creek Elementary a school of character. Well, Bobcats, that's the news for today. Remember our expectations, respect, ownership, awareness, and responsibility. Remember, we're kind. Be kind. See you Monday. Bye. Rise up, children. Celebrate. It's a wonderful world and a beautiful day.